Hello everyone, this is the next part of tutorial videos dedicated to inventory system <coughs> and uh, today I'm gonna change the user interface a little bit and uh, we have to make some additions for replication to work. Let's open our inventory and uh, here we have a scroll box with vertical box in it and everything is stored in the border so let's select the scroll box and add some paddings like uh, 15, 15, 15 and 15 also select the border and decrease its uh, offsets from top bottom increase its size to 600 for example and position x to minus 50. Also let's increase paddings from 15 to 30 and set some color to a border so it will be a little bit dark like in Tarkov so we ha will have a background for an inventory in total. Here it is. Maybe it's big enough and uh, choose it on your own. Well, now about replication. Um, after installation of this plugin, uh, no, we have to do a few more things to make it work. First, let's open a character and add a new component here. It's called it's called your object replication manager. You can add it to your character or anywhere else. Here it is. I, I already have one and now we have to open an inventory and open event graph. Let's find begin play and initialize function. So here after we have set everything up we need to mark objects in an inventory for replication because by default they are not replicated so here we're gonna get a character get character get replication get OR manager and register replicated U object. So we have to do it for all items in our inventory. So to register an object for replication we have to get all the items that are stored in our inventory and uh, our inventory can have a container that is inside of another container and which also contains in another container and so on. We have to create some recursive functions that will return an item. So let's create a function called get items from item. An input will be item, an output will be items and input is going to needs to be a single and uh, items is an array so what we're going to do we're going to get this item and um, get its rows now for it then loop through each row break it and a loop through each cell. Or not like this, we already have a function. Yes, and loop through each cell. So for each cell, we can call a function code called get all items for a cell. It will return us a map, and we can get keys. This will return us an array of items. Now let's create a local variable here called local 
items. And first, we're gonna get this local items and add this item. No, we don't have to add this item here, by the way. So move it here, and we're gonna add every item from this array to this array. So now for each loop. We are filling this local items array, and finally, when every loop is completed, we're gonna check if local items is empty. Get is empty. So if it is true, then we are just returning an empty array. Well, if it is false, then we're getting these local items and looping through each of them and calling get items for item, get items from item. The same function like this. <coughs> And after that, we're getting these items, and for each of them, we're adding them to a local items. Add it like this. And on completed of this for each loop, we can return local items. So it will recursively run through each item and collect every item that is stored in our inventory. Now let's go back to initialize function and call this function from here, get items from item. We need to do it in for each loop in our from our base items. So we're getting base items for each loop. Connect everything. And for each item here, we're gonna call register replicated new object and connect array element to replicated objects and connect this to a sequence null. So that's all is needed. Uh, no, that's not all is needed for replicating new objects. We also have to mark objects for replication in our component for objects that we can interact with. So let's open interaction, VPC interactable object. And here in begin play, we're gonna get character, player character, and cast get component by class. Also, that's only this is needed only for those who create uh, a replicated game, BPC, or oh, not a BPC, or our manager component. And if it is valid, then we're gonna get it and register replicated your object item. So that's it. Well, now we have uh, an inventory that should be replicated. I didn't check it yet, I check its replication yet. But we are able to collect items, throw them away from inventory, move, rotate, and so on. Now, I think that's all what is needed for an inventory system. And I think that at this part, I will stop and uh, Next videos will be about uh, creation of an equipment system that will uh, change in how inventory looks like and maybe some bug fixes. Thanks for watching, hope it will help someone.